All right, all right. Hello, everybody. So we are back here in the engine, in the channel. So we are going to talk today about animation and the new ways into animation inside Unreal Engine 5. All right. So there is going to be the chance that you, for example, have um, a country rig mannequin right here. All right. And uh, right now, if you open up, right, the um, the skeleton, you're going to see that there is no animation attached to this skeleton. All right. But you happen to go to the um, launcher, right, to the Epic launcher, and you downloaded, I don't know, the generic MPC and impact and the MCO mock at basic and the ODS mannequin. So you have a couple of others of other contents that do have um, animations on them. For example, this generic and um, you're going to have a couple of animations as you see. So uh, in the past, what you would do is if they're all, you know, the same skeleton, it was as easy as, for example, going to your um, Go into the generic NPC, go to character, go to mesh, and right click on the skeleton. And there used to be a uh, retarget to another skeleton. All right. But that option is not here. Let me show you. Let, let us travel to the past. So now we are in Unreal Engine 4. So let me show you what I mean. So if I go to the MCO mocap basic and I go character and I go mesh and I right click on the skeleton, I mean, let me double click on the skeleton so you can see that into this skeleton, you know, there is a lot of animations in it. All right. So I want all those animations in the control rig animation. Let me show you. So if I go here, here and here and I double click on the skeleton, there are no animations in the control rig uh, character, right? So this is how it used to be. So you go to the mocap, you go to that skeleton, you right click on the skeleton, and there was this retarget to another skeleton. And if you had your retargeting ready, you know, the control rig mannequin skeleton sh should appear and you retarget, and it's going to take a jiffy. And once that retargeting was done, one two things happen. One was that the original skeleton, now it doesn't have any animation attached to it. So it donated, you know, we ripped out all the animations that were on the MCO skeleton, and now they are residing within the control rig character. So now if I double click on the skeleton of the control rig, there it is. We should have all those beautiful animations, all right? And that was, you know, the way how we used to do these things, right? You know, there was other um, 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 other things that you could do in the same way. For example, if you have another character that was compatible with mannequin, in this case, for example, this ODS character, it was like a like a skinning of the original. Uh, control, uh, of the original mannequin, what you could do to take this mesh into, you know, the control rig character was to right click on the skeletal mesh, and then you could assign a different skeleton. So this was possible because, you know, the ODS mannequin and the control rig mannequin has very similar, if not the same, uh, hierarchy and name scheme on the on the bone. So if I right now, you know, right click on this guy and say um, assign a skeleton and I select the control rig mannequin skeleton. Now, if I go to the control rig mannequin character mesh and if I open up, you know, the skeleton, I'm going to see that there are, you know, in the animation, I'm going to be able to switch from the control rig mannequin to the ODS mannequin. So now in a sense, you know, you added like a new skin, a new skeletal mesh to the same uh, control rig skeleton, right? 
So this was the old way. Now let's travel to the future like this. And now we are in the future and now we are in Real Engine 5 and now it is easier than ever to have, for example, my control rig and a couple of uh, source animations. So all I need to do now for this control rig to have more animations on it or to add animation to my control rig. Uh, let me show you. Here is the control rig skeleton and there is no animations here, right? So now if you go to Windows and you go to Asset Details, now there is this compatible skeleton uh, list that you can start, you know, creating. So the first one that I'm going to add is the uh, MCO animation. So I added a new element and now I can select here, you know, I rename, you know, for sake of sanity, I rename all the skeletons so I know which ones are which. So now I want to add all the MCO um, uh, animations to the control rig. And that's it. I, you know, added them and saved. It will not appear, so there is no way to refresh um, this window. So you close it and you open it up again. And now I do have all those, all the animations from the um, MCO mocap basics on my control rig character. And it is now that easy. And we are not ripping them out from the original uh, skeleton. So I can go back to my MCO mocap and character mesh and I can, sorry, I can open up the, manic, the, the the skeleton and you're going to see that all those animations remain on the original character. So now it's easier and easier than ever. And if you have the same issue, for example, I have this um, uh, knight right here. I could go mesh and you can see that in this character skeleton, I have no animations at all, all right? So I'm going to add up uh, the MCO one and, and the MPC um, animations, right? So if you don't know what are those, you know, it's the generic NPC and impact. It has, you know, stretching and all that stuff. And the MCO has like um, running and walking and stuff like that. So let's add both to this character that is animation less. So it's as easy. You create one, two elements. One is going to be the MCO. The other one is going to be the NPC. All right. And I save, close. I go back to my Genite mesh. And now if I open up the skeleton, I have all those good animations and I can switch, you know. Oh, this might be a little bit of a bug, for, but let me show you. If I'm right here and I go preview animation, I have them all right here, all right? So they are all working, all right? And you are going to be able to animate your characters and do, you know, amazing stuff with them. You could even do crazy, crazy stuff like this, for example. All right, load up, load up, load up. Come on, time is running out. There it is. Now I have, you know, one of those knights as the character of Lyra. And if you want to know how to change your characters in, in the Lyra game and add your new characters, I'm going to show you in the next video. So I hope you like this video and you know the drill. Be good, love you all, and see you soon. Bye-bye.